If you guessed Doug, then congratulations, you guessed right. Doug is back. And Doug will do things. Hello, everyone. <coughs> or rather, anyone who is still there. I'm sorry to say, but my internet is connected. Because it be do that sometimes. I don't know why, but it did. Anyway, uh, don't know if you guys are still there. Let me open up the game again. Go back to playing some Celeste. Gotta climb that dog damn tower. Mountain, rather. It's not a tower. But I am climbing it, so I got half of that sentence right. And <clears throat> Sam says, Green, Mr. Douglas and everyone, if you're still there, Sam. Um, how do you all do? I managed to make time for the stream today. And Ruga says, if something happened, the stream died for you. Uh, is the stream really dead? It was, but now it's back. Don't know if you guys are still there, though. Uh, <clears throat> which sucks. Uh, Nathan says, welcome back. Thank you. How lovely. Hello everyone. I wanna check something. Some true things rather. And Okay. I guess it's more or less back now. Chat messages are coming in, I guess. We are back. Truly and truly and fully. Hello everyone, welcome back. And Wolf1341 says, you know Outwards is released. Yes, I do know that. I have just gotten it. Just downloaded it. In fact, um... My internet kind of crashed for a moment. I don't know what happened, but then afterwards, the subsequent disconnections were possible due to the fact that I was trying to um, stream and download a game at the same time, which I don't think this internet is made to do. So, yeah, <clears throat> that's a thing that happened. But yeah, I'm still pondering on, on whether or not to play it here on the stream with you guys, find stuff for the first time, or to play it later. And Nathan says, welcome back. Thank you, Nathan. And and, and, and Midget says, dang, first time viewing and the stream broke. No worries, it's back. It should be working now. I 
suppose. And then he says, throw me off the mountain cliff, daddy, dad. I will not be throwing any, anyone off mountains today, Oni. Sorry to disappoint you. And Druga says, hi. Did you solve the white block thing puzzle? No, that's the thing I was stuck in. I kind of asked stuff, but I suppose the my internet had disconnected back then. So I didn't get any answers. Now I know why. But yeah, there was a white block thing to the left to the right of it there was another hidden area with some with another strawberry which i got and then in the white block thing there was on on the very top was a bluish heart and i tried to figure out how the hell to get it but i couldn't figure it out i don't even know what that does i never encountered one of those before So I ponder and wonder. But anyway, what do you know? Outward has been released and I have it. So I think I'll go and play it now. Cause that's that's the thing I was waiting for. Sorry Celeste. You're a big ass cool mountain, but I'll be climbing you some other time. Right, it's time to check out outwards. A wolf says, I'm waiting for you to update, gonna play with your, with your sis, and you got internet cash, you got a scammer's mail. <laughs> no to both of those things, he said. I guess. <clears throat> so, I have to open the game and then change screen configuration. Uh, so, um... This was a highly anticipated-ish game, this Outward game that people are talking about. Uh, it seems interesting, it seems to be sort of like... Um... Oh, there you go, it's a, it's a very small window. Yeah, but it's gonna happen. As soon as I go back into Twitch and change the configurations of the stream. Also, game, would you please not be on top of the other windows? I have to, there's stuff I have to see. Outward. Outward without an S. Okay, there you go. Typing stuff is hard, you know. Okay, category that will be outward. And yeah, that should do it. Okay. Now let's configure the screen resolution size things and get this game going. For whatever reason, it loaded on the smallest size possible. Like that, then. Oh, potato is a quality I can choose. Chrome. Nice. Good to know. Ah, there you go. Resolution. What? What kind of resolution is that? Can I go borderless? I like me some borderless. Do to apply? Uh, it's not quite borderless, but how about full screen? Would that work better? Yes, that does work better. Thank you. <clears throat> An M midget says you did what? And Iruga says you can now officially render in GLaDOS. <clears throat> uh, what <laughs> do you mean? And uh, Lucas, hello there. Bom dia. Seja bem-vindo. Uh, tem que trocar o jogo, iniciar como seu last. Eu troquei, demora um tempo pra atualizar. Mas logo, 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 deve mudar pro jogo certo. Eu espero. Se não, aperto F5 e deve funcionar. Anyway, uh, Tiger says, looks interesting, Doug. What does? So I don't know which configuration to go with. I guess I'll wait for the game to load first. Then I'll change stuff on the fly. 
I know that my computer is like good enough, so but I kind of want to give it a very high already from the get go. Mute the background, blah blah blah. Oh, sure, let's play with a with a keyboard and mouse. That should work. A tutorial, new game. Eh. I kind of want to do the tutorial, but I also just want to get in and play. Let's go and start a new game for one player. Name Jim. <laughs> uh, nah. How about Doug? That sounds like a better name. It can be a male or a female. It can be an Orion. I can be a Tremon. I can be a Kazit. But not the cool kind of Kazit. To the can be the eh kind of Kazit. Also, there's no zoom, it's hard to see the this poor people face. And none of these looks good enough. Oh man. They need they need to bring back the whole <coughs> legacy, what the hell is that? Sure. Didn't you bring back the Dark Souls character creator? That thing was amazing. It allowed you to make all sorts of people. Okay, this looks good enough. This face doesn't look good enough, but eh. Okay. There's nobody here that looks like me, so... Shwedevs. See, I'm a, I'm a boring, bland person. Let's create. You start the game with a few, with a few skills, like the kick. You also know several useful surviving crafting recipes. <clears throat> All my life I've lived with, within the safety of Sierzo. Spare the brutality of the world outside, but life in our eye is never that easy. For all the safety that my tribe provides, our law, laws are harsh. We are judged not as individuals, but as bloodlines. Alright, we have... Uh, has lots of grounds now for injustice. Iruga says, not getting a potato da dash Gladys reference. Unsubbed. <laughs> are you even subbed? You're not even subbed. What are you talking about, Iruga? But now I, now I see what you mean. <clears throat> that is a kind of a... That is an obscure reference, but anyway. And Tiger says, this game and Kiku them all, Doug. I will. Thanks. Thanks for the suggestion, Tiger. I will try my best to Kiku them all. And Lucas says, beleza, estou chamando de longe, bye. Okay. <clears throat> Thanks for showing up, at least. And Oni says, blep, what's up, Oni? Oh, there's more story. The failures of my bloodline weigh heavy on me. My grandmother... Grandmother brought ruin to our tribe long ago by doing something, bringing a heavy blood price upon my family. We have we have paid the debt caused by her actions ever since. I, I joined an expedition across the sea with an, my old friend Mizan, hoping the money made there would be enough to clear my bet, my debts. This was a mistake. I'm lucky to still be breathing after our ship hit rocks on the return voyage. Now, I have no choice but to pick myself up yet again and face the wild. Untamed lands outside the walls. I must carve out my own failure, or die trying. <clears throat> Which I hope I don't do, because dying young is not very fun. Oh, there am I. Oh, my dog, I'm completely naked. Oh, no. Maybe I should have done the tutorial. What the hell? Oh, I have a Kiku. Cool. Um. Hello. If there is some sort of press to interact with things, key, I can't see it. Ah, would you look at that? There's a torch. Oh, there is contextual keys. That's good, you know. Also, what the hell? How? How? 
Hmm. Whatever this place here is, doesn't seem like we crashed here naturally and this is not a type of surface that happens on its own. I smell foul play. And M Major said, so what is this game about? It looks nice. Uh, it's seems like sort of a survival game of sorts, like a indie Skyrim. But with lots of touches of realism, like like uh, that game whose name has escaped my mind. Ooh, a tattered attire. Oh, Koi? I, I have clothes now. What was that called? A Kingdom Come Deliverance. It feels. It seems to have some, some, some levels of realism, kind of like that. Okay, I am hoarding. Tortured like a crazy person. Uh, no, no, no! I didn't mean to drink salt water. What the hell am I doing? What your skin is required to gather. Huh. But do you know, maybe it was a good idea for me to have gone and and done the tutorial. But alas, I have gone down goof. Also, there's no objective markers anywhere. I'm kind of just like, here, you're alive, go. So let's figure out what to do. Oh, a person. Let's talk with them and see what will be the next step of my little journey. <laughs> and now you know, don't, don't attack Tiger, he's a good boy. Hello. Uh, oh, he's on, you're my friend, I guess. What you need? Doug, you're alive, you must be freezing. Come, warm up by the fire, before you freeze to death. Yes, I can only talk in short sentences. Uh, where are we, Yuzan? The last thing I remember was our ship hitting a rock. We're not far from home. You can see the lighthouse from here, can't you? Eto made it out too. He's making his way home to Chiruzo to go to him for help. Eto made it out alive too. Thank you, lad. He's a Kazite. He was born on a ship. This probably isn't the first time he has had to survive a shipwreck. Go ahead and sleep in one of the extra bedrolls. If you're still feeling too injured, I don't know if I am. From the shipwreck, go ahead and <coughs> do that thing I said. I laid out and I'll keep watch for Eto and rescuers. Oh, that's nice of you, thanks. Also, what's this? Bread. I will take that for myself, yes. <coughs> Thank you very much. Ah, uh, I've gone and scooted into the bed. How lovely. <coughs> Sleep, guard, and repair. Each hour spent guarding reduces the chance of ambushes while resting. Sleep, heal tiredness, max health, and max stamina, but reduces your max mana. Does it now? What is these needs? I do not think that I'm in a bad position, but I guess I'll sleep for a couple of hours. And try to figure out what the hell to do next. And then it says, Kiku, buddy, you're good. Cell signal at 90%. Oh, what does that mean? <coughs> so, I have woken up after a ship crashed. I walked a hundred meters and then went back to bed. So sounds about right. Unconsciousness can comes quickly, and you dream of being ensnared in something. With a yelp, you jump out of your bed. Relief floods you as you recognize where you are. You are back in your old bed at home at the lighthouse in Sierzo. Yuzan must have brought you back to your family's lighthouse. Only your aching body tells you that the shipwreck you suffered was not a nightmare. Oh, alright. So, apparently you can go and do that. You can go and pick up people while they sleep and take them away also I don't know that shipwrecks would kind of disrobe me 
Oh, here's the music. <laughs> uh, open primitive satchel. There's nothing there for me to take. So I take the primitive satchel and equip that on me. Also, this game theoretically has some sort of a uh, soulsy feel to it. Let's get this water skin. I might need the water. Ring worker attire. Tethered hood. Tethered boots. I already have worker boots. How do I open my inventory shenanigans? There we go. Current equipment is tethered attire and I can equip this instead. Which has one more point of resistance? So there you have it. I don't want this anymore. Come on. I'm about to go on an adventure. I also don't know how to put down this torch, so I'm gonna just take it. Hope nobody minds it. Now <laughs> Cooking Cheers of Chevici. What the hell are those names? <clears throat> also, yes, I'm taking everything I'm, I'm finding. I don't even know if I'll need them. Oh, I can use the kitchen to make a manual recipe or make gaberry tartine with bread and gaberry jam. All of which I have, apparently. Oh, nice. And I could make travel ration. Racha? Racha? With uh, bread, jerky, and salt, which I don't have. Which is weird, since this is a kitchen, they should have salt laying around somewhere. If not, I would just go back outside and pick... Oh, old laundry. That sounds cool. I'll just go back outside and pick some salt from the seawater. Ah, oh, that's how I exit this place. I see. <clears throat> Rise and shine, trog spawn. You think you can nip off for four months and not pay what you owe the tribe? I... Sure. A blood price is sacred. You can't just shrug off that responsibility. That's for as long as you did. If I don't see the money from you by the time I count to ten, you'll regret you ever came home. I just woke up from a shipwreck. Have a heart, will you? You know I can't pay. All the money we made in Orochi is at the bottom of the bay. Yeah, you were on that ship too, weren't you? How many lives must your family be responsible for destroying before enough is enough? That is not what that thing says. You were in that ship too, weren't you? How do I know you're not at fault? I love my daughter on that voyage. You bring ruin to the trap just like your grandmother. Uh, this doesn't change the fact that I have no money right now and can't pay you. If you can't make the payments you missed, we will seize your home! That ought to cover four months of ignoring your duty to the trap. Either pay up or get out of our way. Enough of this! Twelve people are dead. Stop this shameful behavior at once. This is a time for the trap to come together and mourn or love lost loved ones, not to demand payment from a survivor. Stop the shameful behavior at once. To threaten someone like this <clears throat> while the lost lives are still fresh is an insult to their memory. Game, why are you saying stuff that is not written? Under the laws of the Blue Chamber Collective, I have declared a period of mourning. You understand what that means, don't you? But Chamber Lady Aberdeen. Doug has clearly been... I said that is enough! If you want to resume discussions after the morning period, feel free. But until then, your concern should be for those whose lives were lost in the wreck. Oliel, see these people off, would you? You heard, Mother. Away with you, or I will personally see to it that you get double shifts of guard duty. Oh, cool. 
People are defending me. That's nice. While I hold my torch up. I'm sorry, that was the first thing you woke up to. Please forgive them. Many of them have lost family and are not thinking straight. Uh, I can't believe they want to seize my home. It's small and it's a lighthouse. I, uh, can't you do something? If I could do more, I would. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. Uh, but if you do not pay off those four months of missed payments on your own, the tribe will have my head. The most I can do for you is declare a mourning period and buy you a little time. For five days, no one in the tribe will can ask for what you owe. That gives you a few days to pay back the money. Either gather the money or earn a tribal favor and they won't be able to touch you. Uh, five days to pay back all 150 silver coins. Is there time to gather the money or earn a tribal flavor? Flavor. Not flavor. That is creepy. Once you can make the payment, come see me. Please find a way to make it work. The last thing I want to do is take your lighthouse away. <laughs> and use it for, you know, directing ships around it so they don't crash on rocks. Uh... I can't possibly accomplish that, I need more time, this blood price is unfair, you can't hold me responsible for things that are out of my control, then I will have to head outside the walls. That does seem like your most effective option, dangerous as it is. I doubt you would be able to gather that much in such a short time just by st staying in Sierzo. Never forget, no one is an orphan in Sierzo. Do not hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. Though you owe us a blood price, we will still help you. However, we can never hesitate to ask the rest of the tribe for survival advice. If you can do a great deed for someone in Sierzo, we will owe you a tribal favor. Which I will accept as a substitute for your payment. Once you're ready to leave Sierzo, speak with Burak, the gate warden. You will judge whether or not you are prepared to face the outside world. Remember, you only have a few days. May pay your ancestors me. watch over you. To pay me 150 silver or show me proof you have earned a tribal favor. May your ancestors watch over you and snicker as they think, Oh boy, we fucked up that boy's life. Alright, I have five days to get a lot of money and I don't even know how much 150 silver is. Also, why do I have this equipped? I have been <laughs> walking around with a torch on my back forever. I don't want it anymore. Uh, sign quick slot. Can I throw it on QER12345? True, how about you? And I can quickly and easily take it out and then put it back on. Okay. That is, that is good. Alright, I don't have time to waste. But I also have to see what you guys are saying. Oni says, I just like being here with you guys and listening to Doug's voice making you a moist boy. Oni, what the hell are you talking about? My voice makes nobody moist. If my voice makes anyone moist, it's because they get so angry that they start sweating in place. And also, hello there, Kaufwolf. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Also, is the music a little, a little loud? It feels a little loud to me. Only I'll help. I'm glad you survived the wreck. Doug, and I'm sorry about your losses. I know how much you were counting on this expedition. That glowing sword is new. Where did you get it? Rufus commissioned it for me as a going away present. I was going to leave this morning to go join the holy mission on Elat before Mother could stop me. But with the shipwreck... You wouldn't be right to wouldn't leave. Wouldn't be right to leave so soon. I have to stay with the tribe until the morning period is over. I can't imagine your mother will let you go without another lecture. You have no idea. I don't know how I'm going to get their money. The money Risa is demanding for me. I have faith in you. Doug. They'll pull through. If you can survive such a lethal shipwreck, I'm certain you can make the next blood price payment. Always strive to be better than today. Go now. We both have work to do for Cherzo's sake. Also, how much money do I currently have on me? Alright, I have like 27 silver, that is one-sixth-ish of what I have to pay already. 
Time to go invest in the stock market. You know what they say, you gotta spend money to make money. But yeah, apparently this... Ah. Risa, Risa Aberdeen, Oliel. Oh, time is going by. <laughs> Not even stopped. Oh, shit. So, the map doesn't tell me where I am, apparently. Should be around here, I guess. Well. Can I help you? Where can I get some sleep? Where can I find merchants and trainers? Who's important in the city? Tell me about the surrounding region. Yes, tell me. <coughs> if you want specifics, ask Barak or Gate Warden. Generally speaking, winter can get unbearably cold, so wear thick clothing and keep torches and campfires on hand. And if you're interested in magic, there's a ley line under the Conflux Mountain, the, la the large purple one in the middle of the region. Need anything else? I'm fine, thank you. Carry on then. Farewell. Okay, so. Uh, <clears throat> Gotta be careful with those quick camera turns. It'll be the death of me if I'm not mis not careful enough. So how the shit do I quit this place? Also, can I take a felling great axe? I guess I could, but <clears throat> I don't know how this game deals with people taking stuff. Just like that. If it'll be like, ah, sure, it was on the outside. Or if it's gonna be like, stop, criminal scum. You violated my mother. Brack! Whoa! Hold up there! Where do you think you're going? Uh, I'm going outside. Oh, not like that, you aren't. You need at least an equipped weapon, a water skin, and an equipped backpack before you're ready to face the outside world. Equipped weapon? If I let you adventure outside without basic equipment, you'd be marching to your own death. If you're pressed to find a weapon, make yourself a quarterstaff. From some tree wood, you can also craft a backpack, although I'm sure you have one lying around at home. I'm also <laughs> sure you can find a spare water skin by the water purifier on the town beach. Don't forget to fill it up while you're there. But I need to get it out, my life depends on possibly dying. Alright, I'll make sure I'm prepared before I head out. Uh, what do I need to learn to survive in the wild? What's got you worried? I've noticed that the longer I stay out, the, la the less maximum health and stamina I have, have I? Notice that ever? Uh, how important it is to drink, eat and sleep. <laughs> how do I deal with dangerous temperatures? Be mindful of the weather and climate you travel in. When the cold rolls in, you should dress warmly and use campfires and torches for warmth. If you stay cold for too long, you may get sick and eventually freeze to death. Farewell. Aren't they nice? Okay, so I'm at the gate. From the gate... Um, there's a blacksmith just about there. Also, how the f shit do I craft a quarter staff? Uh, crafting. Okay. Uh, quarter staff. I need two pieces of wood and one piece of lining cloth. Basic cloth clothes can be decrafted using the survival crafting menu into linen. So I go and get my items Do I have anything shitty that I don't need I don't think I do okay time to run back home and get the clothes I have actually let's take the inner path now see if I can find new stuff that's my house by the way so that's a good landmark It's hard to get lost when you can see your house from any point in town. And honey, you're, you're, why are you so borky? Oh my dog. What's up, honey? Are you worried about me as well? Because I'm worried about me. I have a debt to pay and no money with which to pay that debt. Alright, let's get this tethered attire. Move to bag. To bag. Let's see if I can decraft that. Those tethered boots. Handheld armors, usables, deployables, ingredients. Okay, that's uh, filters. This is the crafting. 
Menu recipe. Uh, how about I throw in a catered booth? Uh, craft? Uh, oh, I made cloth. Cool. I have cloth now, I just don't have the wood. What does that tell me about wood, though? It tells me that branches with a variety of uses, from making campfires to crafting weapons, it tells me nothing on how to acquire them. Hold F to gather tree. Oh. Alright. I guess. <clears throat> I just run up to a, a wood and get it. Oh. Apparently, instead of making a quarter staff, I can just go and make a primitive club. I'ma do my best imitation of Sam. It's time to say our farewells, Duggo, my dog. But on it. <laughs> Only 11 in the morning, what the hell are you talking about? That, but that's a good, that's a good one. Thanks for the bits though. So the primitive club seems to deal like 16 points of damage, 20 impact, 1.2 attack speed, 150 durability, whereas the quarter staff is the same thing, except that the impact is 14 instead of <clears throat> the other value. So I don't know if I make that or this. Let's go with a quarter staff. Might as well. Okay, so now I have that. Can I assign to a quick slot? How about number three? And then there we go. I have an equipped weapon. Oh, I can block. Cool. So now I have a water skin. Which you could also throw into the quick slots, I guess. Uh, five. That'll do. Alright, I have a water skin, I have a quarter staff, and... Clothes. They should be able to let me go now. Also, you're a blacksmith, do you sell weapons? What pawns? I might need them. What can I do for you? Hello there, Doug. Need some gear. I recommend our iron weapons and a bow, or a shield if you're using a one-handed weapon. Uh, sure, what do you have? All right. <clears throat> and how much does it cost? Oh, you have an iron sword, an iron axe, an iron mace, broad daggers, a round rondo dagger, a shield, a round shield, and arrows, a pack of expensive as arrows, an iron claymore, an iron great axe, an iron great hammer, an, a mining pick, an iron halberd, an iron spear, a curved bow, a simple bow, half plate helm, half plate armor, half plate boots, and tri tripwire trap, and lots of scrolls. And bullets. Are there guns? What I do for you? All right. Ammunition for pistols crafted from iron and oil. Pistol scrolls often require bullets. Oh, he sells bullets, but he doesn't sell guns. Anyway, I'm ready to adventure. I suppose. Oh, can I take this hatchet? Yeah, I could. Nobody noticed me taking that hatchet. It's mine now. I'm gonna go ahead and do some damage with that. Uh, 13, 13. Whereas this is 16, 14, so... Theoretically, it seems like the hatchet is not the best, is not as good as a weapon as the quarter staff, but eh, whatever. Hello, can I go? Need something? Uh, I'm going outside. Well, you got the essentials at least. Here, I'll teach you a skill. Mastering these is the key to survival out in the wild. They want me to teach you one for the weapon you're currently holding. Yes. There you go. Mastering skills is the key to survival out in the wild. You should look for trainers whenever you visit a new town. They usually group near training equipment. Others need to be sought out. All right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Stay safe out there. I will try. Farewell. Okay, let's go make some money. Try and make some money. 
I mean, I don't know how to make money. Okay, guys, I need suggestion. Help me, chat. How does one goes about making money out in the wilds? Because I know that once somebody said that money doesn't grow on tree, on trees, but I need money, so. And we're back, apparently. Hello, everyone. Uh, interact, toggle lights, take and drop bag. Auto run, attack, block, aim, special attack. Welp. Could you look at that? We're back. Oh, hello. Who are you? What are you? Oh, no. Oh no. Do you already wanna fuck up my shit? See, I have never gone down adventure before in my life, but I already know how to. How to do battle with little piperinos like such as yourself. Ow. Okay, dodge roll. I'm gonna drop my backpack. Ow. <clears throat> that will help me be a little more effective in combat. Oh no! Haha! <laughs> because I have like a sliver of health. Yes, there we go, now there's just this one guy. No, dang you! <laughs> All right, I have been, have gone down, got killed. <laughs> oh well then. Also, shit! I dropped my backpack, and you can't stand anymore. The very f act of breathing is becoming difficult. Pain racks your body as your consciousness fades. You awaken to the sight of a huntress from Sierzo pouring water into your mouth. Leaning on her, you manage to hobble back to Sierzo, more dead than alive. She refuses payment and leaves you with a firm pat on the shoulder. Being like, oh, there you go, you fuckface. Try not to die. Alright, I'm back in Sierzo. I'm bleeding. What the, what the hell? Is that bleeding? No, that's just pain. My physical resistance is smaller. And my health is very low. Oh, is that my... is that my bag? Oh, that is my bag. Lovely. They brought it back. I mean, they didn't even take it. So, hooray, I guess. <clears throat> what does that mean? Oh. Just a second, I'm trying to learn what do I do here. Does that mean I need to make bandages? 
Uh... Okay, that will give me three linen cloths, which I can craft into one single bandage, which I can then use, I guess. Bandages recovers 0.5 health per second for that much time. All right, like not amazing, but it's something. Tag your slash, fire reload, moon swipe. Double attack that deals high damage <coughs> and have increases in power if you have the rage of discipline booms. Would have been nice to have that equipped before I went out. Kiku, push Kiku, and throw lantern. Throws your equipped lantern on the enemy, creating a zone of fire for five seconds. Using this skill destroys the lantern. So maybe not the best thing to go and do. Just like that. Speaking of which, oh, I don't need to equip it. Hmm. Rule 101 in gaming, if you touch the enemy, the enemy touches you. What? Only no. What do you mean? Also, I'm still kind of oozing blood? Is that what's going on? Also, where am I? Wreck! I tried, but I failed very hard. And also, thanks for the for the bits, Oni. Oh no! All right, I should wait for like half a minute until that thing is dispels. Anyway, uh, so don't touch me, Doug, if you wanna. Be touched the back because these hands would grab loot parts. Only oh, no. <clears throat> Don't do the loot. Do the loot. All right, I'm hunched. I'm hurting, and I'm seeking vengeance now. I wonder if the, the guy that beat me is still there and if the guy I beat is also still there. Oh, would you look at that, they are just kind of being like, huh, would you look at that, that scrub is back. Also, the, all the items the other guy had dropped are not there anymore. Alright, I will drop my backpack. Oh no, stay away. Oh, you better dog than believe I'm gonna block. Ooh. Oh boy, I don't have stamina with which to fight back. Oh boy. So he's able to, like, attack me. On the backslash. Which sucks. Because my attacks are very slow. Maybe I'll be better with this hatchet. <gasps> Shit. My hatchet's in my backpack. Wait. Touch is done. Only no, don't touch me. Also, I shouldn't be dodging like this. It takes all my stamina away.
Tá 90 reais. Oxi. Tem duas versões desse trem, né? Tem o Outward e o Outward Day One. As duas estão 90 reais. Acho que a ideia é que o Day One é. Sim. É? é. Mas. É, é, tá o mesmo preço. Acho que a ideia é que só hoje tu consegue comprar esse Day One. <risos> uma semana? Ah, então não é Day One, é Week One. Peraí. Obrigado, Léo. Eu pretendia fazer com ele. Ah, dá pra fazer rapidinho. Rapidinho. Confere. Hum, mal amigo. De bicho, tá aí. Ok, we're back. Now I have water. <clears throat> um, Oni, thanks for the bits. Also, I don't know what the hell is happening that my internet connection is so bad today. Hope you guys don't mind too much. But of course you do. It's not fun to watch something that is half the time isn't there, but eh. And then he says, but first, they're just dead. And how if your day was okay, plain and une uneventful? Well, sounds like a day, nonetheless. <clears throat> so, does that mean your day is over already? It's like already evening time for you, or is it still like early in the afternoon or something? And you raise your arms, shooting your vulnerable throat from the animals that howl at you, and brace yourself for death. Fangs sinking through your legs and you feel yourself dragged across the ground. Every rock and bump causes jolts of pain that knock you into darkness for a while. Oh boy. When you finally come to and open your eyes, you see the half-eaten leg of some poor explorer inches from your face. Hyenas howl nearby, hungry for flesh. Clearly, dim dinner time has been served. <coughs> also, I have not been brought back to city. I will take this for fishing harpoon and this linen cloth. I'll also crouch by. Take this old lantern. Oh no! Stay away! I'm not in condition for combat, you sh you shitty piece of nature! Bye! Dodge, how about that? I keep dodge rolling inside a very small cavern and get the torch and run like hell. Oh boy. Fuck this shit, I'm out of here. Don't even know where I'm going to. Oh no. Well, lucky for me, hyenas are just as slow as I am. There's two of them following me though. Boy, it's dark as fuck in here. Can't see shit. Might as well not even carry a torch. Oh, a lighthouse. At my home. Set like a beacon, telling me the way back. Oh, seriously, how long are you gonna chase me for? I'm <laughs> running around in the dark. I can't see a feet in front of me. I can only hardly make out 
shapes in the distance. I'm going north. Hopefully. Hopefully. I will arrive somewhere. Oh no. Is this a town? Can I run back in? Oh. Fuck. Oh my dog, it is. <gasps> Holy shit, I found my way back to the city. I mean... <laughs> It was a big spinning lighthouse thing <laughs> spinning around, but how in the world did I was how how was how oh that is home. You know what? Fuck this thing, this whole adventuring <laughs> business. I'm going home. A disease infection lose three percent of your health per minute. Eating restores fifteen percent less food. Oh no. Well, to be fair, I have barely been have been half eaten alive. You know what? I'm going home. I seriously need better armaments, and I need a better torch because this thing here is impossible to use. I use this instead. Oh, what do you know? That lights just as poorly as. So just because I have been here earlier, I know that there's like a big cliff that goes off that side. So I could easily take a plunge into the ocean here if I'm not careful and not seeing where I'm stepping. But boy, the darkness... Dark times is dark. Very dark. And uh, Kof says, welcome back, I thought it was me. And it's near 10 in the, a in the evening right now. Oh boy, that's late. And then he says, but why don't you want me to touch you, Dago? I told you not to touch you. What? What? What are you going on about, Oni? I think you're trying to bamboozle me. Are you trying to bamboozle me, Oni? Let's use bed. I will sleep for... Uh, six hours should be enough. To do something. <laughs> oh boy. And I didn't touch you, Oni. What? What? Why? How? What? An art, artful 89. Hello there. How's it going? I, um, uh, it's going good. My internet connection is kind of acting up quite a lot, so that's not fun. But other than that, things are going A-OK. -okay. I'm playing this new game that just came out, Outward. It's fun, but... Hella hard. Keep dying. I not like hell hard, I mean, I'm being careless and I haven't practiced my way with, with weaponry. I kind of just went out into the world expecting to beat the shit out of everyone. But I'm just a common guy, I'm, I'm, I'm not a special in any way. I'm not a soldier, I'm not... I have, didn't spend my entire life training in the arts of combat. I, I, I'm just a wee boy that woke up one day and was like, eh. I woke up one day and then people came to me and said, hey, you owe me money, pay it. And I'm like, shit, how do I, how will I get money? I said, well, let's go out into the wilds. Maybe I'll find something with which to, to sell or whatever. And Kauf says, also, can you talk a bit about this game, Doug? I've never seen this game before. And Artful says, a good idea. I also see her for the first time. Invisible chat. What? No, the chat is not invisible. So, uh, Outward seems to be sort of a... Actually, I'm gonna... I don't have my hatchet. It was on the backpack. Shucks. Oh, that's a poking weapon, I like it. 
like media pokies. Uh, this game here, Outward, it's just been released. It seems to be a uh, open world adventure game, kind of like um, what's the name of that? Kind of like Skyrim, I would say. It's pretty Skyrim-like. Um, I don't know who made it. But apparently some indie European game devs who made like very very small games in the past. They made two other small, hardly ever heard of games. And they, they came up with this, which looks amazing. Uh, but it seems to be an open world adventure sort of game with a uh, focus on realism. <clears throat> so don't just go out there and do heroics right out, right out of the gate like Skyrim, this one you actually have to take it easy like uh, that other game, Kingdom Come Deliverance so it's an interesting game I don't know what is this world, this lore that they have going on oh really? Have you camped here all night? Just waiting for, for me to come back. Alright. Uh, but it's also some a uh, survival game, I have to have to eat, you have to drink water, you have to forage for stuff. It's kinda you against the world sort of situation. But it also has co-op. And split screen co-op, which is even weirder. It's been eons since they released a split screen co-op game or even like same screen co-op game. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright. I will loot this Yena, Hyena, or whichever one. Back combat isn't as painfully hard as it was in uh, that other game, Kingdom Come Deliverance. But it's still not the easiest thing ever. It's 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 challenging, it keeps, keeps you on your toes. But now that I have a poking weapon, holy shit, I'm gonna call some damage. Because before I had this quarter staff, which is like, you do big sweep motions, but they doesn't have that big a range. So whoever is in front of you also gets a free poke at you. This one seems to... I seem to be able to quickly stab someone and then start stepping back. And other than that, I know very little about this game. I have just seen it, like, I have seen that it exists. Oh, there we go. My backpack, I, I found it again. All my items are in here. Oh, awesome. All those things I thought I had, had, uh, I had lost. My water, my food, my everything. Although my food is kind of starting to it's starting to expire. Apparently, my my stuff has like durability. And this guy had a warg's arm. An antidote and jerky. I'm gonna take all of that. So the game started out just a mining pick is required to gather this resource. Uh, the game started out like, ah, there you go, you survived a shipwreck. And I could, I think I could have started the game if I wanted, but the idea was for you to go to bed. And if and when you do go to bed, oh, there's a hyena there. If and when you go to bed, the game is like, oh, now. That you have waken up, people are after you for reasons, and they they 
I'll happily let you know that I have to pay a debt of a hundred and oh boy, I'm dying. No, water does not restore my health. What restores my health is bandages. I don't have. So, thus far, I have adventured out into the city. Trice? I've never made it past the gates. Let's apply some bandages. That's what heals me. Oh no, you stay away. Don't even think about fighting me, you overgrown chicken. Oh my dog, it is an aggressive overgrown chicken. <laughs> and it wants to poke me. Does it want to poke me? No, stay away. I have a poking stick. Don't. Don't. And Kauf says, I wonder if we can be werewolves. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past this game, but it doesn't seem to be that expensive in that regard. I don't doubt there might be like werewolf-like creatures, but I also don't think the game gives you that many op options. One of the options... Uh, lose 3% of your health per minute. Uh, how do I cure that disease? I wonder. Oh wait, I have an antidote. Um, neutralizes most, most poisons. That's not necessarily a poison that I have. Hmm. Okay, you go into the satchel and you go out of the satchel because you see me better. Another poking weapon that I have. Actually, no, that's not a poking weapon, but it's. It looks like. Compare, cool. Um, equipping a backpack slows your dodge. Oh, you don't say. And Cuff says, "Oh, here we go again." And Nardful says, "Come back." Uh, yes, you're right. I need to go back into the, into the city and ask people to. See if anyone can... Oh, pouch overweight. I guess... If I put too much weight in my pouch, I won't be able to do a whole lot of stuff. But that's cool, I kill like a lot of enemies. One single human. And I have... I have stuff which I can sell for money. Don't think it's gonna be... <laughs> I don't think it's gonna be enough money, but I have some something to sell. An art for you became addicted to Ozu, can't stop playing with it. Oh, are you playing on computer? Because I have seen people playing Ozu on on computer, but they they play like with a they use a graphic tablet, like a drawing tablet, to play it better. What can I do? All right. Which is like a very quick way to ruining your thing, but eh. It is also a very valid way to play that game. The best way, probably. Also, hello there, Spiker. Welcome to the stream. A quick question, Doug. How does this game run? It seems to run good. If you're talking about, like, uh, technicality, it runs just fine. It doesn't seem to have any problems. If that is not what you mean, however, then don't very well know what to say. This game does things... Wait, what? Why can't I sell my quarterstaff? 
there like a thing he won't accept? I think he won't. Well then. Uh, edible meat should be cooked quick. But yeah, this, the game runs fine. It's it plays well as true. It doesn't doesn't play as like weird. I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. But so far, I'm enjoying this. A little fun game. What could I do for you? I'm really looking forward to the co-op part of this game. Which I'll be experimenting later. Oh, I can sell the hides. And the meat. I'm gonna go sell this meat. Don't need that. I like the pokeness of the harpoon, so I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna sell this gizarm and keep the harpoon. I'm also going to... Sell... Oh, nothing else, really. Okay, now I have 36 silver, I have... I need so much more. Uh, I have a whole lot of torches as well. Don't know why I have that many torches. Actually, I do know why. It's because I'm a hoarding... A hoarding doggo. <laughs> I keep picking everything up. I'll get that when infusing water in a cooking pot produces an ingest during curing tea. Sounds fun. Wait. Oh, I see. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure stuff out. So I have, like, hide. Can I do anything with those? Nope. Uh... Oh, there you go. Don't know what you do. And uh, artful, you play on the tablet, more comfortable. Uh, forgive me for bad English. You need to improve your writing skills. Nah, no, it's all right. I'm able. To, I am able to understand you nonetheless. Thanks for 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 being here. Rather, I'm willing to spend time with us. A speaker says noise might get this at some point. Seems interesting. It does. It seems like a. Huh. It seems like a. Uh, what do you call it? Seems to be a more realistic-ish take on Skyrim. Like on combat and inventory management and whatnot. Because Skyrim is like you can pause time and fill your face with food. Okay, I need to gather. Drink and gather some clean water. So nice that they just kind of leave this stuff laying around all the stuff you need for for doing most of the stuff also I'm about to die because I have a flipping disease that I do not know how to cure uh, alchemist in it's not a doctor per se also I have no flipping idea where I am I guess I'm more or less over here and there should be an alchemist in this house. The map, by the way, it does not tell you where you are. Hey there. So long as you can pay for my medicine, I'll see what I can. <laughs> Never mind. I collapsed from my disease. Can't stand anymore, the very act of breathing is becoming difficult. Pain racks your body as your consciousness, consciousness fades. What do you know? The warm smells of Sears' inn greets you. It seems someone found you on the edge of death and nerves you back to health. You have been out cold for days. Though at least you're still alive. Oh no. That is bad. But Doug, why is that bad? It is bad because I had like five days to pay a huge debt of money and 
If I'm losing days being sick and shit. Oh no. You have lost your lighthouse, top trees. <laughs> shit. That okay. Doors. That that is exactly what I was trying to avoid. Alright, I have lost my home. But like I said, it's a, this is Animal Crossing on steroids. But it, it's is it snowing? Oh no, it's Halloween! All of a sudden. Oh, actually, the map does tell me where people are, so that's good at least. So Risa is over here-ish? Let's see if I can find her. Also, if that's to be believed, that several days went by, I guess also all the shit I had in my inventory is much closer to getting bad. Very bad. And there's not even point to eating them as well. Ready for winter? What is that stats I have? Cold weather defense up. Oh, cool. Uh, no, you're not who I who I'm who I seek. Be gone, dude. And Sparkle says, "Gotta do my thing." Sorry for the hit and run. Have a good one. We'll do. Don't worry. And thanks for stopping by, Spike. Have a good one yourself. Get me sick, doggo boy. Sin is the best cure for me when I get sick. What? No, Onion. Are you sick again? Is Risa in front of the town hall or is she inside the town hall? I will assume she's inside. Let's go in and talk to her. There's also had like this big uh, Breath of the Wild vibes going on, which I also like. Risa, hello. I'm afraid that you came too late. The lighthouse has been sold. And he's used by the guards as a barracks. Well then. <clears throat> well, I tried. That you did. <laughs> Even though the payment was late, you've proven you can survive and arrive. Have I? I have died, like, inside the city in front of a person. Sure. A lesson learned that I need to be more efficient. Indeed. Either move at a rise pace, or you will be left behind. The world will not wait for you. Move at the world's pace, or you will be left behind. Oliel and Izan are leaving Cierzo. Uh, you should speak with them before they go. What do you mean they're leaving? What's going on? Oliel is leaving to go join the holy mission of Elat. Nothing I could say would convince her to say. Uh... Oh, yeah, I'll miss her around here. As will we all. I don't suppose I could convince her to stay. She's my only daughter. So I to inherit the clan when I joined the ancestors. But I don't suppose we'll be able to convince her. Her mind is made up. And Yuzan, why is he leaving? Can he? He can be ready for another expedition already. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. Listen, the the shipwreck that killed so many of our people. And nearly took your life was the fault of Yizan's brother, Roland. A blood price has been declared upon his bloodline. Oh no. How can you be so sure? Roland fell asleep on duty. He was on duty at the lighthouse on the night of the shipwreck. He fell asleep and let the light go out. He confessed as much to me himself. This is unacceptable. Uh, he accepts the, accepts the consequence of his actions, his son refuses, he has chosen the exile, to exile himself from Tears of Forever rather than to do his duty to the tribe and bear the blood, the blood price. Uh... This isn't fair. The blood price must be levied against an entire bloodline. Otherwise, the one who bears it would be pushed to out act selfishly selfishly, rather than repay what is owed to the tribe against the line, it can be held for as long as it need to against an individual that promotes only bloodshed. The blood price is not a punishment. 
It is a repayment for a wrong, and all those who have suffered should get their fair compensation without violence. Without it, we would be ruled by revenge and mob rule. Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Once you're done, we should discuss your future here in Sierzo. Now that you can handle the world outside, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I have so many fetch quests for you, boy. <laughs> Thanks for the bits, Sonny. An artful says Risa is a pirate. She might as well be. With that kick-ass eye patch. Also, is it winter already? How long have I been asleep for? What? Day 17, holy shit, I have been asleep for two weeks. Fuck them. Also, Yuzan is on the beach, apparently. Let's go talk to that boy. Hello, Yuzan. I take it you've heard the news. Come to see your old pal off? Yes. I've got one little fishing barge to my name, and by a lot, I'm gonna use it. I'm leaving for the heroic kingdom of Levant, never to darken the sustain of us. The sustain of a city ever again. The heroic kingdom believes in chasing progress to create a better world. Doesn't buy into the idea that we should only focus on survival. They believe in pursuing progress to create an even better society. All right, listen up. It's a place where you can do what you were meant to do without having to answer to oppressive tribal laws and the misdeeds of your ancestors. Sounds about... sounds cool. You succeed or fail on your own merits, no one else's. Oh, why so far away? Levant believes that everyone deserves a shot at what they're best at. And doesn't have these backwards tribal laws to deal with. It's a rational place for a fresh start. And honestly, the farther away I am from my dolt of a brother and that tyrant right, so the better I'll sleep at night. Is she a tyrant? Oh no! She's Mrs. X! How do you plan on making it to Levant? The sea can only take us so close, I mean, it's in the middle of a desert. We'll go by ocean as far as we can, then lick it across the Abrasar Desert on foot. We'll be rationing water the whole way, I if. I could afford it, I'd have bought potions to help me with the heat, but I have to try our luck without them. <gasps> Can I come along? I went out of this place too. Oh boy. Will I leave? Can I come along? I'd take you if I could, but you can't swim. And on a barge that small, you'd be nothing but a liability. I'm sorry, Doug, but that's just not going to happen. If you manage to get to the Kingdom of Levant on your own somehow, though, I'll do my best to look out for you. If you plan to make the journey to Levant completely on foot, be prepared for a long, long journey. You have to leave the Chersonese Chir by going east, and travel east through the entire Enmerkar forest, and then finally south through the uh, Abrasar Desert itself. If you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. I'd eat drown, don't take me. Oh my dog, everybody would drown. Alright, goodbye, you, you son, Yvonne, I don't know your name anymore. You were supposed to be my friend, but I don't even know your name. Uh, talk to Oliel in the village of Sirius. You see this location of important characters can be seen on the map. Oh, that. I, see the, I can't see the world map apparently. Oh, I can put in markers in the map. Oh, what do you know? Uh, Oliel, she's near the blacksmith. Huh. Oh, there she is. Hello. I guess this is goodbye. I'm Doug. leaving this place to join the holy mission. And I'm not looking back. Did something happen? You're scowling. Mother and I had a uh, talk. I don't like any of what I heard. Risa has done Risa some. Risa has done some things I can't agree with. I, I can't talk about it. All right. She wants me to follow in her footsteps, and I just can't. I already have no desire to be the chamber lady. 
what she told me, I refuse to consider being a part of it. All right, listen. It's unlikely we'll meet again, Dad. Unless, of course, you want to join me. Having someone I trust by my side will make me a lot less nervous. I'll think about it. Now we're talking. I'm, I'd, I'd be glad. I'm, I'm glad. I'd be happy to have you with the me. The holy mission is about more than just working under a manifested god. Or, f or fighting discord. It's also about having everyone, regardless of tribe or family. Have discipline and mastery over yourself. First, protect and look after those who are in need. Second, have discipline and mastery over yourself. And third, always seek to improve yourself so you can better help others to improve and help one another. It's a good set of values to live by. Hmm. In fact, if you join the holy mission and give up your bloodline, you'd be free from ever making payments on your blood price as well. It's the ideal clean slate. If you do want to join us, meet me in Monsoon in the Hallowed Marsh. The road you need to take to reach the march is the, in the east of the Chersonese. Sure, sure Once in the march, follow the Pilgrim Road. The trail of the Sun Pillars towards the ray of light that flies over moon soon. Alright. <clears throat> now let's go back and talk to Risa and say hey. I have very little reason to stay and the people in here gave me amazing reasons to leave myself. So... That's where we are at. Also, there doesn't seem to be a jump button. I wish there was. And Artful, you slept 12 hours today and thought it was a long time. Yeah. Uh, my character just slept for like 12. Oh no, what's going on? There you are. Urgent news just came in. I must be off immediately. I don't know when I'll be able to return. Why? What happened? This is troubling. There's trouble in Berg, and the Fisher Council meeting has been called. I'm going to Berg, the main settlement in the Enmakar Forest. The home city of all the tribe's birthplace of our Blue Chamber Collective. If we're able, I'd like to. I, I, I would like you to meet me there. I have an offer. I did I not. I will pay off the rest of your blood price and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. I did not want to spring this on you, but I have an offer. If you pledge yourself to work with me, I will pay off the rest of your blood price and adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline. Your name would be cleared and your burden lifted forever. My blood price is still worth thousands of silver. Where is this coming from? It's... complicated. With all the Alabama in the family, I need someone that I can rely on. Someone I think of as close to family, and I want to make sure you never have to face a mob like that again. The new Chamber Collective is about coming together as a family. Remember what the Blue Chamber Collective stands for. Only by sharing our burdens as a family we can hope to survive in a rye. We're all bound together, no matter our oranges or our chosen path. Well then. The individual pales in importance to the family and to the tribe. We all give up. A little of what we want, making sure that everybody, everyone, has what they need to survive. It's your choice. Choose well, Doug. I won't force you, but my offer is open to you. Work with me, and I will adopt you into the Aberdeen bloodline family and clear your blood supplies permanently. I have a choice. Your life is in your hands. I can't very well drag you along now, can I? You're an adult. Adults are hard to carry, and I'm a frail old woman. The life is in your hands. All I can hope to do is try to guide and shape you into someone who acts with the blue chambers as needs in mind. You will need to prepare travel rations. If you want to make the journey to another settled region of Arai, you will need to prepare travel rations. If you try to travel between regions without enough rations, you will starve before you arrive at your destination. Well then. That is how traveling works. Here, have some travel rations to spare. If you need more, the store is in series to sell some, or you can craft your own with some salt and most types of food. Listen well. I hope to see you in Berg, Doug, if you wish to commit to the protection of the Blue Chamber Collective. Meet me there. Take the road to the southeast of the Chersonese. <clears throat> Alright. That happened. I have got three travel rations, which has durability as well, but they seems to be... Well, since to last for a long time. And that is it. Now I have 
apparently three choices in front of me. Uh, go to a city in the Ermerkar Forest, the Hallowed Marsh, or the Abrazar Desert to join a faction. Innkeepers can give you directions. So I have to choose which way to go. I guess I'll go meet with Yizar, Yizan. In the city on the other side of the desert. It's a long journey, but eh. This whole talk of freedom. I love it. Except that it's night time now. And I don't have a house anymore, so I guess I'll stay at the inn. As long as I can find it. So this is an apothecary. This is a house. This is a house that I can't get into. This is the smithy. And the inn is... The house behind it. What? That thing? Or this thing? Oh, it looks a lot more like this thing also. I can't jump fences and shit. That's so infuriating. And Oni, don't drown. And thanks for the bits, by the way, Oni. What is it? Well, if it isn't Doug, come in, having the usual. I want a room, please. Money on the counter. Twenty-five silver. Holy shit! Mm. Right. See you. I guess I'll go sleep in the wilds. It's cheaper. Alright, but, but before I go and do that, I just want to see if I can get a mining pick or a shield. One or the other. What can I do? Here's what I need. I can craft through special armor from the blue sand you bring me. Want some? Uh, no. What can I do for you? Alright. So, oh, they have taken away my money. Well, never mind. I thought of buying shit, but I can't anymore. So, yeah, it seems like all I have is the items I have on me. Correct, Need tell me. Something? Uh, the longer I stay out, the less maximum health and stamina I have. What's up with that? Now pay attention to what your body tells you. As you push yourself, your maximum reserves of health and bleh will be diminished, and you only have a fraction of your maximum. Sleeping in a tent or bed will restore your reserves. Always be mindful of your limits and don't push them more than you need. There is no shame in taking time to set up camp when you are exhausted. Alright. I'll get a torch. And I'll go outside into the big bad world. But now, now is the big test. I have a direction of sorts and Mercar Forest. Is that where I wanted to go? No wait. Bandit camp, ancient ruins. I mean the Chersonies. So one of the directions I had was Abrasar Desert. I think they told me to keep going like left, right? through like keep going east through another city and then south through the desert so it is gonna be a long journey I have to do that by hand I mean on my own so I'm here in the outside the city of Sierzo There's some places nearby. Maybe I could try and go into one of them. Because now I have nothing to my name. 
nothing, just a few items scattered out in, in my possessions and oh, a big bad huge world to explore and now the adventure finally starts anyway, how are you guys doing now? after st sticking around for so long Southeast Conflux Mountain the mountain Southeast Oh, would you look at that? There is a mountain there indeed. Okay, that's a person. Are they hostile? Can I talk to you? Up. Oh, you are hostile. Okay. I thought you were you were gonna be a friend. No, no pokies. You are cold. I have contracted cold. Oh, I'm a shetty. And whatever you have on you, which is a lining cloth, which I will need, Trevor Ration and arrows. Oh, cool. Now I just need a bow. <laughs> yeah, very well, fire this out, uh, out of nothing. Uh, can catch a code. I have caught a code. Oh, I'm very, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very cold. I need to hit up. Except that this thing I have just ate Gaberry jam thingly spread on bread uh, gives me cold protection. Not a whole lot, but eh, gives me some cold protection. I need more linen cloth to make a bandage because I have taken some health damage. Maybe I'll try climbing up the Conflux Mountain. Sounds like a well, sounds like a nice tourist spot to go and check out and see. And only you pilfered my rations. Why? Only no. You're doing evil deeds, only. Don't do evil deeds. They don't befit you. So this is a thing I like about games, <laughs> when they give you like a huge exploration kind of kind of deal. And they're like, "Oh, hey, there you go, have a big world." They kind of just drop little little hints here and there, like, "Oh." If you go this or that direction, you can you can maybe find something interesting. Like they have big landmarks going on around, or maybe even just a map. With like, oh, this is a fortress. This is a these are ruins. What will you find there? Who knows? Maybe you should go and try and find it. When they also go and give you. Crafting options and survival options and make makes you make you think about stuff that is more than just you know going from point A to point B. Like how will I make this travel? Can I just go and climb? Do I need to do anything specific? Are there dangers to face in this travel? How do I go about that? That's the kind of stuff I like in games. I pilfered more than just rations when you were asleep, but you'll have to figure that out on your own, Duggo. Oh, no, no. Don't take things away from me. Why would you do such a thing? And here I thought I could trust you, Oni. Oh, my dog. Thanks for the bits, though. At least you were kind enough to leave them behind after you pilfered the things I had.
I can like I can kind of just like imagine the local people here being like, what the hell is going on? I see a little a little bit of light in the distance, kind of just walking around. Ooh, you're coughing. Am I now? All right, you know what? I'm gonna camp here for tonight. Ooh, what's this? Open supply cash. Tripwire trap and spikes of iron. I better believe I'm gonna take the shit out of that. And make a little campfire. Because it's cold and, my, and I'm freezing. I remember seeing... Yes, there we go. I can make a campfire kit. A lot of primitive stuffs as well. I need three pieces of wood to make a campfire. How do I go about using? Deploy? Oh boy. Now with my flint and steel I can light that up. There we go. Now I can use this campfire to cook the meat I don't have anymore. Alright. Uh, I can cook. I can cook stuff. What can I cook? What about these gaberry tartines? One food waste. Oh. If I try to experiment with food, I kind of fuck them up. I see. That's not the way I should go about doing that. Alright. Seems like I have I have stopped. I have stopped like getting colder. But I'm not nowhere near getting getting hotter either. Zizzed mush that is what remains when the cooking recipe fails. Well then. Actually left 10 bits when I pilfered you in your sleep dug as a thanks for the sin. <gasps> Oni. Why? Oh my dog. Well, thanks for the bits. All the bits that you have left behind, Oni. I believe that they will, they will be of use somehow. Let's deploy also a bed. So I can rest here for until morning. I'll sleep for three hours and guard for three hours. I could spend some time also repairing my items, but eh. Make sure I don't get ambushed. And that should be about the morning. Oh, I get an achievement, Canadian Hotel. Which is an achievement I get when I camp outside while it snows. Oh, that was... Your body temperature is back to normal. Lovely. Well, like it or not, that was my only option. I didn't have any anything else I could do. Oh, thanks, world, for providing me with the components to make a campfire. It was good while it lasted, but now it's time I keep going on my adventure up the Conflux Mountain. I don't know says Doug is adorable when he sleeps. That's why. That's why what. Also, I'm not adorable when I sleep, I snore very loudly. And I probably drool too much as well. Okay, that is gonna be tricky to get down, and also, how do I climb that mountain? Uh. <laughs> Alright, I can at, at least slide down 
without too much hassle. Oh, there's a person in a thing down there. Oh, it's a person fighting a hyena. Up. That your person's coming from that direction. Not a fan of, a, of that idea. Because one thing I have noticed about this game as well is that I don't get experience points when I fight people. So doing combat doesn't help me with anything. In fact, doing combat is actually bad in every possible circumstance. The only only viable reason for doing combat is if is if like. My survival depends on that, or if I want to reach some place. And there's an enemy between me and the place I'm going to go. And only says that's why I wanted to have you. I wanted you to have good dreams. Ah, that's nice of you, Oni. But don't worry, I had good dreams, and I was well guarded while I rested. We're cold, not again. And will I ever not be cold? Don't have the guard buried. Yeah. Can I throw that away? Yes, I can. Oh, actually, very well rendered for something. I'm gonna eat this insect thing, which apparently gives me some cold protection for that many minutes. Let's climb up Conflux Mountain. It's not that high up now, not that I see it from up close. Just gonna take a while. Going up and down is gonna be a little bit of a journey, but it's not that horrible. An artful says, listening well to your stream, you say everything that's happening so you can beat records in Osu and be up to date with the game. Oh, cool. I'm glad that you're able to do that. Uh, I do remember playing also way, way, way back in the day, like 2010-ish, like a decade ago. How well has the game aged? Like, is it it's still the same thing? Oh no. Pick of combat. You guys leave me be if I just go around you or will you actually actively try and chase me down? Oh it seems like you guys are Fuckerinos. Okay. Backpack, you stay in the ground. I need to fight these boys. Oh boy. Okay, half my life is gone already. Get cool. Oh. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, that's a huge problem with leaving most of my weapons in my backpack. If I want to change my weaponry in real time. Can't do that. Have to keep them. Ow! Whoa! It hit from all that distance. Oh! Okay, they can rush me down if they want. Ow. 
You have very little stamina. And he's at full health, full stamina, full everything. I can do this though. I know that I can. There's no parry or repulse mechanics in this though. Ow, god, whoa. That's a lot of health it took out of for me. Oh, then. <clears throat> they beat me. Oh, winter. And then you say, Simbin, going up and down will be easy. It will not be easy. And then it says, you tell me, Doug, how easy it was for a Sing Burner Boy to go up and up and down on a sleeping chapel. Well, you tell me. Purple grass surrounds you as you stir from unconsciousness high atop a mountain. Your life-threatening injuries have been bandaged by a hooded man who silently returns to leave, entering a door along the mountain wall without a backwards glance. What? <clears throat> Oh, that's almost where I was. And I have now a lot of conditions going on. Also, it seems like I'm a little bit further up the mountain. How weird. Anyway. Situations. I have confusion. I'm very hungry and very thirsty. Uh... I do have food though. Come a berry that only offers a small amount of nutrition and quickly rot unless cooked. This berry restores stamina over time. Oh, that's a stamina restoring thing. Oh, what? What the hell? I was managing my inventory, you, uh, you bitch hyena. Get the shit away from me. Ow. Up. <laughs> what do you know? I have been diseased. Also, I'm dealing less damage on them than I was last time around. Come on, stop running around. Ah, go. Shucks. Vendavel Fortress. Is that where I am now? I have been taken away. You open your your op your eyes open to the sight of a Kazit woman pointing a sword right between your eyes. You are in no state to resist as she binds you her hands and blindfolds you, and forces you to march. You hear bandit activity loud and all around you. Your captor boots you into a cell and slams cold iron bars behind you. Here's how it goes, slave. Work well when we tell you to and you'll get food and water or refuse to work and it's to the hole with you. Oh no. Have I been 
God damn it. They took all my belongings. And I guess I have been arrested or and or captured. Oh, hello. Damn. I can't take this place anymore. I want out. I need out. My shift's broken. I need a new one. Bring me one I can show you how to use. I don't care if I have to make one. I need one. <gasps> oh my dog, I got a recipe. How to craft a shiv. Shiv dagger recipe recipe has been learned. I wonder if that, if that person back there is a guard. They all seem to be guards. Don't drop the soap, Doug. I'll be watching you, boy. Hey, that's all I have. A mining pick. Oh, that's the hole. This is trouble. Hey, do me a solid me and big, bring me another big sack. Pickaxe. Would you? This one's about to break. I have one for you. Enjoy. Thank you for your aid. Yeah, well, I found some pearl bird eggs the other day. You have one. You need to eat healthy if you want to survive in here. Uh, thank you. Oh, and thank you for the money as well. Large pearl bird egg that carries a chance of disease when eaten raw. Eggs provide both health and stamina recovery over time. Eh. Well, what do you know? I have been diseased. Has a chance to make you vomit while eating, no nullifying, nullifying the food's effect. Well, my daring escape is not going that well so far. Let's go get some iron, I guess. Now that I'm a, now that I'm a captured worker, would help to have some iron with which to craft a shiv. I suppose. Okay, honey. I will try my best not to drop the soap. Also, thanks for the more bits. So many bits are giving me today. So generous of you. An archful says, hang a soap around my neck. Yeah, that, that might work. Alright, um... She asked for a shiv. How, what does it take to make a shiv? Uh, linen cloth and iron scrap. I can make one. Which still does a lot of damage as it happens. Damn. Here's your shiv, what's the plan? Give me a hand, will you? This is what I need, a promise is a promise. Listen, if you need something from someone here, Backstabbing someone with one of these isn't too hard. Here, let me show you. Now leave me alone. I need to escape. Oh, she taught me how to backstab. Uh, dagger attack. If the attack hits the enemy back, the damage and impact are tripled. Oh boy. <coughs> Let's get that into my quick slots. For now, I'll try and get the shiv myself. Also, do I know what time it is? Uh, noon. It's high noon. Alright, I have a shiv. How about I put this shiv in a quick slot? I go back with my pickaxe. They'll think I'm just a miner going on about my business. And then they turn around and see me going back behind them and going like, Kashing. You're a prisoner as well. And this is another cell. What is 
use it. Hey there, get to work. We need to turn on some iron if you want to eat tonight. I've dug up some iron scraps. I want to be paid. All right, you've earned this. Oh, I get money. My dog. If I knew how easy it was to get money here, maybe I should have gotten enslaved faster. Oh no! Come on. Open up, lady. I can't stomach those past pasty mushroom bars that the cook gives us for food. I haven't had a nagging forever. Can you make me a miner's omelette? I'll reward you for it. Listen close. Here, I'll teach you how to make it. It's not that hard. I'll find you what you need. I'll be right back. Well, how do I even go about cooking stuff in here? Also, why is this place so dark? What can I do for you? You get to work. If you don't work, you don't get paid. Without pay, you can't buy food. Well then. <laughs> Oh well. What now? Oh well. So many friends and so many ways to get out of here. Also, where have you gone to? I just sat down, I see. Or you stabbed yourself. It's hard to it's hard to say. You've earned this. Hmm. Can I get these prisoners to help me escape? Is there something you need? Oh, this guy sells stuff. Uh, no, nothing that I need, I'm afraid. Oh, about mushroom. Alright, I have to at least manage to escape from, from prison. Because this is a very bad predicament I'm, I have found myself in. And then I need to get to get better at combat. But, uh... An artful says 4.30 in Poland. Oh, nice. Another, Pol uh, another Polish friend we find. Alright, so how do I make that crazy ass omelette? The, the, the... Also, my big objective is still to get to that other place there. One of those three places I have been told to go in the quote unquote tutorial. What is it? I went out of this place. Huh. Make yourself useful. Maybe, just maybe, the guardian will let you back outside if you pay him well enough. Uh, just don't get in my way when violence starts. If I find what you need. I'll be back. And you sell stuff. Is there something you need? I have forty bucks. What can I buy with that? A couple lining linen cloths, or just one? Alright. I can buy bandages that I need. Thank you. Oh, I don't need bandages anymore. I could use some rest though. A hundred percent chance of being ambushed. I guess I can very well just go to sleep in prison and expect not to be ambushed. Who knew? The world was so so rough like that. <coughs> you are hungry. Oh, you don't say again. 
Peculiar toadstool that gives headaches when eaten raw, but it is an ingredient in health restoring elixirs. So all in all, I need to find a place where I can cook food. Uh, oh no, come on. Because you can't just like make stuff out, out of nothing. With sheer willpower I have, I need a cooking place. None of these boys and girls will let me do the cooking there. What could I do for you? Uh, I want out of this place. Only says I'm a jailhouse doggo boy. Really, I went out of this place. I wonder. You could always use some more coins to buy me myself a drink. How much is your freedom worth? I don't have much money. What was that? Go back to work, slacker, before I discipline you or throw you down the hole. If we're not getting out for anything less than thirty silver, how much do I have? I had more than thirty. I have less than thirty. I have twenty-six. Really. I'm four gold silver pieces short of freedom. I could theoretically beat you guys what down, but can I uh, do for you? Is there any other work I can do aside from mining? Here's what I need. Yeah, the cooking medic could use a hand. Go on through, but if you put on a toe.